Okay, we have a couple of students, right? Fine. So let me start the session. Okay, before that, uh, let me do a self introduction. So, my name is Safnaj. I am coming all the way from Sri Lanka. And currently, I'm working as a software engineer at Cisco Labs, a small advertisement here. And uh, these are some other communities that I'm being a part of. So, if you want to get connected with me or if you have any queries, you can reach out to any of my social handles. So, yeah, that's all about me. And uh, yeah, the agenda is simple. We're going to talk about what is CID, since this is going to be a beginner friendly, and uh, why we need to use CI CD, and uh, what is actually GitHub Actions, and what are the benefits of using GitHub Actions. And uh, finally, we can have a demo if the time allows. OK, let me remind you the hashtags for today's event. So if you are posting something on social media, or if you are sharing your feedbacks about my talk, make sure to follow these hashtags and my handles. OK, let me tell you a story of a typical developer. So as a typical developer, we used to develop applications. And then we do some manual testing locally in our PCs. And then we deploy. Right? Then we used to pray to make the deployment successful. And we will be again do some testing on the deployed environment. And if it didn't work, we had to go back to the develop stage. If it is work, we have to pray more to keep the application successfully. So this is the saddest life cycle of a typical developer where CICD was never exist. And that's where DevOps came into picture. And uh, back in 2000s, uh, like departments like uh, developers and QEs, uh, IT team and security, they worked individually to achieve something like uh, much needed in the IT industry, right? So basically, developers used to code, and QEs will be testing. You guys know the stuff, right? So CACD, can someone tell you what is stand for CACD? This can more into specific into students. Yeah, uh, it should be continuous deployment or continuous delivery. Yeah, it's correct. OK, I will give some GitHub figures. Make sure to ping me. So CACD stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployments. So let me start with uh, what is continuous integration. So it is actually a phase and a practice in software development cycle. So where developers work together in a single project and regularly do merging codes. So this is uh, basically yeah, they are, we will be carrying out some basics such as a uh, unit test and integration test. Maybe you can have some uh, code quality checks. So within a short-lived environment. So what does it mean by a short-lived environment in the sense? So you just need to spin up an instance to a, a simple need, right? So you don't need to run all the time. And uh, you can set up your repository where uh, someone, every time they push the code, the CI can trigger and it will be running. So if there are any build or fails, it will notify the relevant team. So you can have a look at uh, what happened on ECA, CI pipelines. So typically, the CI pipeline involves the following task. So it is used to uh, detect changes in your source code. And uh, we can uh, build and generate the artifacts that we need to deploy. And also, we can uh, perform some basic tests, such as a uh, unit test and integration test. And uh, you can have a status of report. So if you are having a code checker, so there will be a status of report of uh, what is the percentage of uh, your coverage. And if the above steps fail, as I said earlier, uh, this will uh, notify the relevant team, so you can have a look and, and fix the stuff. So there are some uh, benefits of using CI. So first one is to develop a productivity. So you don't need to build your applications manually, where well, it's time consuming actually. And uh, so there you can save some time. And uh, you can find the bugs and address it uh, earlier, before it's reached to production and grow a big problems later. And you can deliver update faster, right? So you just push the code, so the CI will be running. So you don't need to spend some time on your manual works. And let's talk about what is uh, CD. So CD is a software engineering approach. So code changes can automatically deploy into a configurable environment. So it could be a testing or production environment. So uh, in practice, in simple term, Developers' code changes can go into live within a minute after writing it. 
and uh, if we can discuss about the benefits of using continuous delivery uh, it's automated process of software releasing so you don't need to build the stuff and take into the your server or whatever the platform that you prefer and again the developer productivity is high and you can find and address the bugs earlier and you can deliver the update fast so typically ci cd pipe can contain uh, cases uh, one is uh, where you can build and test and generate some artifacts for your uh, pipeline and uh, the second phase is cd so where you grab the artifacts and deploy into a uh, server or something so let's talk about uh, github actions so automate your workflow from idea to production so we have seen such as some um, eight phases in devops cycle right so you can automate all those eight phases using github actions. so you don't need to spend some time on your manual works in any phase so when it comes to uh, achieving devops culture in your company or your personal projects so uh, automation is a crucial component right so github actions allow you to automate customize and execute your software development workflows right from your repository and uh, uh, yeah you can uh, build test and deploy your code from your repository so you don't need to spin up some server you don't need to connect your repository with some web hooks so you just have the configuration that means the workflow file in your repository it's simple as that it will work so why we need to use uh, github actions so the first point is it supports multi operating system starting with linux windows and uh, mac and containers so container is something we need to highlight here so if you are coming from a docker background so you no need to go with vm so you can simply run your ci cd stuff containers and uh, matrix builds if you want to test your application in multiple operating systems such as uh, linux and windows parallelly github actions allows you to do that so you can save more time on that and any language so far it supports most of the programming languages such as java javascript and you can see in the slide go ruby and stuff and live logs so right after your workflow triggers you can see the logs what's happening in your ci cd pipeline so if something goes wrong you can have a look at your logs and you can uh, fix it earlier and the next point is built in secret store as a good developer it is a best practice not to hard code the secrets and the token stuff in your source code or pipeline so github ha has its own secret store where you can have organization level secrets or repository level secrets so it can be you don't need to hard code the stuff and multi container testing again it's similar to devops stuff if you want to uh, run the ci cd against your containers so you can have a multiple multi containers and make it uh, easier and again it's simple right so you don't need to be a super duper expert on devops so if you are a developer who knows some basic stuff on uh, how to run a ci and how to generate the artifacts it's simple that's it you don't need to have a wide devops knowledge to do uh, to work with github actions and there are like uh, five components in github actions or uh, even steps jobs actions and runners let's discuss uh, one by one we all together we call it as a workflow file which need to be written in yaml so a workflow is simple it's a configurable automated process that will run one or more jobs in your repository so it need to be defined in yaml yet another markup language so uh, you, a, a single repository can have multiple workflows so you can have a workflow to run the ci can have another workflow to do some lint testing you can have one more uh, workflow any number of workflows in your repository to perform some different task and it's need to be defined in the directory called dot hub slash workflows otherwise it won't work and again there are some uh, rules for that and a workflow should contain one or more events that can trigger the workflow it's need to be triggered right it can have one or more jobs to execute the workflow in your run machines and uh, either you can have a script or you can use a uh, uh, actions templates so typically this is how a uh, workflow file will look so this is uh, a simple node ci pipeline so here you can see the event will be uh, listening to on push event on master branch and the pull request 
for the same master branch. So when someone made a, uh, someone actually directly pushed to the master row, someone made a PR to master, the workflow will start. And here you can see, we can have a variables defined there. So you can reuse it later. And you don't need to always run your own actions using shell script or something. So you can use uh, templates. So this is the checkout template. That's mean you, you, once you, uh, run your CICD in a Ubuntu server, you need to have the repo source code in your VM, right? So you just use the checkout action from action uh, repository. So where, you, where we define the Node.js version and stuff. And uh, the next one is shell script. So if it is a Ubuntu machine, you can, once you install the Node.js and stuff, you can perform these commands, right? So that is it. And this is a simple CI workflow will look like. Yeah, additionally, we have one more step where we upload the generated artifacts into this particular locations. So this is a typical CD workflow. So what we do is uh, the above step is to uh, build the artifacts and the deploy steps are defined to download the artifacts from the directory that upload and we are deploying to AWS. Here we have the secrets and stuff. So the, this is not hard coded. This is coming from the uh, GitHub Actions built in secret store. So events, we have like hundreds of events that can occur in a repository. So these are some uh, events that can occur. So here you have a link where you can see more, more about the, how, what are the events that are gonna trigger in a GitHub repository. So you can have your workflow which can trigger based on uh, someone pushed or someone made a fork or you can even run cron jobs. And there are like two types of GitHub events. So one is single event. So basically this event is going to be triggered when someone open an issue in the repository, otherwise it won't. And you can have a events, multi-events workflow. So basically this uh, particular uh, actions will be running when someone push or when someone fork in the repository. So jobs is uh, basically, uh, it's a combination of uh, shell script where you can reuse it later. So you don't need to always write the uh, shell script for all you need. So it's simple, like, simple as um, uh, re reusing the code, piece of code. And actions. So as I said, you, you can use uh, actions from different vendors and marketplace. So you can, uh, I will show you how it will look like in marketplace. And it's simple as even that triggers workflows, it's going to run some actions. So you can automate your workflows. Here you can see some uh, very famous templates such as uh, deploy Node.js uh, to Azure web app and publish Docker containers. So you don't need to write everything from the scratch. So if you want to publish a Docker container right after you merge a pull request, so you can configure this template, which is available in GitHub Marketplace. That's it. So we have more than 11,000 GitHub Actions template available in GitHub Marketplace. So you can have a look. And how you can use GitHub Actions. Here I will tell you some um, like interesting stuff. So first thing we know, we discussed about we can create the CICD pipelines using GitHub Actions. Second one, uh, you can auto label your pull request. You, you can have some configurations of what label need to be added if, if the PR contains these keywords. So you can have, you can do that as well. And you can generate Lighthouse report. How many of you are front-end developers? One? Only one? Okay, sad. <laughs> okay. So if you, are, if you are coming from a front-end developing background, so you don't, you have to check your site scores using Lighthouse, uh, which is available in Chrome. So you, every time what we do is uh, we used to test the report manually. So it will take a lot of time. At least five to seven minutes will be there. So you can configure this, that stuff in GitHub Action. So right after you push the code, Lighthouse report will generate to you. So you can check the score there. And you can have a code quality checker. So if you are working in a strict company like me, there will be a code checker, code quality checker. So you can have a Sonar Kib configured over there. So if, if your unit test and the code quality stuff is above the threshold, your PR will be passed. Otherwise, it will be failed. And 
as we saw, um, you can uh, build containers and publish Docker images. So you don't need to remind the difficult Docker commands and you don't need to do it manually. So you just push the code, Docker image will be published in your configure environment. And security analysis, uh, in, that's an inbuilt uh, feature in GitHub. If you are like hard coded any secrets or if you have any vulnerabilities in your source code, it will be, you can even have an action for that. And automated infrastructure creation. So this is something Hotus today and Terraform. You can create your infrastructure using GitHub Actions and unit testing, linting. If you are coming from a JavaScript background, you know about uh, linting, right? So you can link your code automatically. And you can deploy your application to any cloud platform. Uh, or we have like more than 11,000 of GitHub Actions for all the cloud vendors. So you don't need to write everything. So you just use the template and go. And send messages to uh, or notification to people. So you can configure templates. If the CI got passed, notify these people. And if this uh, if the CI is failed, notify these set of people. So you can configure those stuff as well. And finally, you can even order pizzas using GitHub Actions. So I have seen a company every sprint. If the if the release is successful, the GitHub Actions will automatically order number of pizzas for the team. So that's the condition they configured. So, so let's discuss, discuss about the pricing. So we have some blah blah pricing based on the OS and the number of minutes that you're going to run. So at GitHub, uh, they love open source, right? A lot. So if your project is a public one, GitHub Action is free for you. You can use any number of minutes for free. So I have a demo. I think I am running out of time. So let me show you the repo where you can see the workflow. So this is the demo I had. This is a simple React application. So I need to deploy this React application to Firebase. So if when someone's merged the code, it's need to be deployed into live environment. Here you can have a look once you uh, want to do the same. And this is the live channel workflow. And the second one is are uh, non-live. That means like this, I have configured this workflow. If someone uh, made a pull request to master branch, so as a front-end developer, I don't need to clone that uh, particular branch and check the changes. So this will deploy to uh, preview channel in Firebase hosting. So when someone made a pull request to master branch, so there will be a channel generated for that. So I can have a look at, here. once I deploy it, there will be you are generated in the PR description. So I can have a look at the UI changes there. So that's the demo. Sorry for not starting the demo from the scratch. So I'm running out of time. And a little bit where to go from here. If you are a student, uh, please go for GSOC and uh, create your own GitHub Actions. If you are if you are a Linux background person, you can create your own GitHub Actions and publish on uh, GitHub Marketplace. So someone can make use of it and to open source and keep contributing to the community. If you have any questions, it's the time. Uh, yeah, well, we have time for a couple of questions, if anybody has some. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for your talk. Yes, please go ahead. It depends on the OS and the size of so if you are if you are going with the free plan, there is a limit for the uh, CPU power, right? So based on that free plan, on your set of applications, it will it will take some time. Uh, what what language? Python or something? Python, yeah. yeah, Python. It will take probably with the free plan within four minutes. You can uh, get it done. Okay, All right. Any questions? Yes, yes, yes. That that's sort of a topic. I skipped those slides. So because uh, if you have if you have your own VM running on AWS or Azure, so you don't need to pay for GitHub. So you can configure the stuff to a VM. So the CI/CD pipeline will running on your machine, your own machine. Yes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
it's cacheable so yeah we need to install so otherwise the code will break right if someone has a vulnerability dependencies the ci will fail so that's where we need to always do some npm install in the same way any more questions Okay. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot again, Ahmed. Uh